We're checking out Hidemi X, which is a powerful CDH week for iOS 10. What's up guys and welcome back in this video we're gonna be talking about Hide Me X which is an ultimate customizing tweak for iOS 10 so you can customize almost everything in your device from the home screen the folders and the alerts and also the animation so once you unstart the tweak you can access the settings of Hide Me X from two different places the first one is the quick edit mode which is from the home screen so you tap and hold on any icon to get a jiggle mode and you can see here the icon that I tap and hold on has an eye and a gear icon inside it if I tap it you will get this card where you can access the hide me x settings quickly and you can apply the changes on the fly no respring is required you can see here you can block the alerts the airplane alerts cellular alerts and also the low power mode when you get to 20% and here you can customize the app switcher look you can disable the force touch to access the, the app switcher and hide the labels and the icon inside the switcher cards so if I access the app switcher you only see the cards without the icons or the labels or you can access more features from its settings in the settings app here hide me x you can disable or enable the quick mode that i've showed you in the home screen tap and hold on the icon tap again to reveal the quick edit menu here you can hit, you have the animation you can use a springy animation which is this one right here bounce effect when i open or close an app also does work in folders you can have bounce animation or you can disable this option and have also the animation speed without a bounce effect and here in the app hide you can hide applications on your home screen here in the control center you can customize the colors of the toggles and you can also have here a custom blur strength you can disable the control center from the lock screen you can disable the coloring of the toggles completely the behaviors you can use the old bounce you can use the ability to first swipe to show the control center on the applications that have full screen mode you can replace the darkening view with the blur so you will see a blur behind the control center when you open it also works in the home screen as you can see a blur behind the control center here in the dock you can disable the blur you can choose the, the blur effect to your liking and here you can choose the uh, custom count of the icons you can put to five six seven here in the folder you can hide the icon blur which is this one right here as you can see i don't have the blur or the folder icon blur and also you can bring back the ios 9 style which is no blur behind the folders so usually in the ios 10 when you open a folder you can see the blur behind the folders but now with hide me x it's no longer there and here in the force touch you can modify the custom timer to open an application and you can customize also the appearance of the force touch menu here in the home screen you can hide page dot you can disable the wallpaper zone when you open a folder and the gradient as well and also you can disable the wallpaper parallax when you move your device you will see it parallax effect but with hide me x you can suppress it and disable it completely and also here in the icons section you can hide the blow update dot when application is updated and also you can customize the size of the icons so you can see here i have them a little bit small and if i turn this a little bit up and i respring the device you can see the icons are bigger than usual and here in the lock screen you can customize the press to unlock so i put it to the name of the channel you can see it here and also you can use custom app instead of the stock camera app so you can select the application that you want here so i selected settings so if i swipe from the right i will get straight to the settings instead of the camera app you should disable the passcode in order for this feature to function properly and also you can hide the date and time in the lock screen disable the camera page disable the page dots to have the time in the status bar and also disable the 
blur in the passcode page and also the appearances here next up here we have medosa which is a slide over option so if you enable this feature you will be able to access another application in the same one that you are currently in so if i slide from the right i will get to Syria quickly just by sliding over as you can see slide again and uh, can go to the settings quickly slide again and you can see and you can change the application when you slide over by swiping down as you can see and you can get a bunch of applications or all of your applications that you have on your device you can access them quickly so if I tap here on tweetbot I can get quickly to tweetbot and slide over to get to your main application here we have notification center where you can customize the behavior you can disable it on the last screen show it on the first swipe or swipe location search page you can customize clear button behaviors and also here the blur style you can see a preview of the blur you can choose the blur that you want and the respring your device in order for the change to take a place and here are more options to hide the settings part the page dot the chevron view the bottom separator and also here in the restrictions you can restrict the app selection so if you choose any app here you will not be able to remove it from the app switcher and also here the access to the control center you can choose an application to block the control center from it and also the notification center and here at the bottom you can disable the control center the home screen editing disable the screenshot when you take it in the status bar you can change the bold text to light one and have the same size in the lock screen as the home screen and also disable the brain cramp which is the one that appears on the upper left corner when you access another application quickly and also hide elements in the status bar from the bluetooth carplay carrier text headphones and much more you have the option to lowercase the am and pm next to the time use a custom carrier here in the system wide section you can have the haptic feedback enabled when you tap on the keys of the keyboard and also hide the keyboard dictation key use a custom color when you take a screenshot so i set it to blue so if i take a screenshot you can notice a blue color as you can see the ability to hide table separators which is this one right here between the sections or the tabs you can see usually you can see lines but you can hide them with hide me x the settings section here is for the the ios 10.3 style passcode so it will bring the ios 10.3 style dots instead of the dashes in the passcode field so let me just show you here the option if I go to touch ID and passcode you can see a dot so usually in iOS 10.2 and below you see the dashes instead of dots this is an option that you can find only in iOS 10.3 the last section here is for the music changes you can customize music actions within applications and also here you can have a banner when you change between music and also you can tweet the music that you listen to on your twitter account you can see your twitter account at the bottom here you can change it so once you play a music the music will be automatically tweeted to your account no question that hide me x is a really powerful and intuitive tweak instead of searching for a certain tweaks or having a bunch of tweaks hide me x here provides all of the much needed tweaks in one place you can grab a hide me x today on Cydia. that's been it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't for new content thank you for watching now we'll talk to you guys in the next one